the highly classified military documents leak that sent shockwaves through the Pentagon. Jack Texera, the Massachusetts Air National Guardsman suspected or arrested of suspicion of the intel leak, faced a judge for the first time Friday. He was charged with two counts under the Espionage Act. The 21-year-old could face up to 15 years in prison. His arrest and the leak have renewed scrutiny over security clearances. Now the Pentagon is rethinking who should have access to top secret files. Willie James Inman reports from Washington. Willie, good morning. Hey there, Michelle. Good morning. The Biden administration is looking into changing who has access to the nation's most highly classified information following a leak that went undetected for months. A young Air National Guardsman accused of leaking classified documents online appeared before a judge in federal court Friday to hear the charges against him. 21-year-old Jack Texera was arrested on Thursday in Massachusetts in a dramatic scene outside his mother's home. He is now being charged with Espionage Act violations for allegedly taking and transmitting classified documents. If this is not just about taking home documents, uh, that is, of course, itself illegal. Uh, but this is about the transmission, uh, both the unlawful retention and the transmission of the documents. Texera allegedly posted the materials in a private chat on Discord, a site popular with gamers. The documents were apparently there for months and circulated online before investigators discovered the leak. The breach led President Biden to order the military and intelligence community to secure and limit access to sensitive documents. I've instructed the department to make sure that they get to the root of why he had access in the first place, number one, and number two, to focus extensively on the extent to which it all occurred. And that's going on right now. Federal prosecutors said in a court filing, Texera supported cyber defense operations. Former Defense Secretary Mark Esper questions why the young Air National Guardsman had access to highly classified documents. No, I, I cannot think of a compelling reason, and I assume uh, Secretary Austin and, and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs Milley are, are probably asking those same questions. Speaker Kevin McCarthy blamed the Biden administration for the leak and promised congressional action, something that one Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee pushed back on. These things happen under all presidents. And so if you want to score political points, fine, but let's really focus on the problem here, which is an institutional problem, not a partisan problem. President Biden also said he couldn't predict how long the investigation into the leak would take, but he says he thinks the administration will get to the bottom of it quicker than anticipated. Meanwhile, Texera is in custody, at least until his detention hearing, which takes place on Wednesday. Jeff? Okay, Willie, thank you.